having a shortcut at any work increases our productivity to do the thing faster so today we are going to learn about few important sap keyboard shortcuts that will really boost our productivity and make our work much quicker hey this is abhiram and welcome back to my channel i hope you have been enjoying my content all these days and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and encourage me to post many such videos if you are really interested to contribute to my work then you can do it by clicking the join button and paying a recurring fee to contribute to me and if you want to do a one time contribution then please hit the thanks button below this video so that you can do a one time contribution and motivate me to post many such wonderful videos so let's get into the content so this is our main screen we are on the home screen of sap and this is the user menu that we are seeing now what if i want to navigate from my user menu to the sap easy access menu where i can see module wise shortcuts for each and every transaction code so the shortcut key here is control plus f11 so this will take us to the sap menu and if you want to go back to your user menu then the shortcut is control f10 so you can navigate between your user menu and the sap access menu by using these two shortcuts now let us go back to the sap easy access menu by hitting control f11 now how can we navigate between these different nodes by using our keyboard it's very simple use the arrow marks like for example down arrow to come scroll down to the bottom node and if you want to expand a node then click on the right arrow mark and if you want to close the particular node then click on the left arrow mark so all our four arrow mark buttons can be used to navigate between these different nodes for example i'm going here to accounting financial accounting general ledger and document entry and fb50 now how can i open this transaction code here enter is the button so hit enter it will take you to that particular transaction so enter key works as the normal enter key functionality you can open that it, it's kind of a double click that we use it now in this transaction code i want to navigate between these different fields here also i can make use of my arrow marks and up arrow and down arrow works but if you want to scroll horizontally then you can make use of tab tab will make take you to the next horizontal field if you want to go back to the previous field in that horizontal row then you can hit shift tab so like this you can move across different fields so this will take you through all the fields now if you want to post a particular document you can click on this post button but rather you can also hit the control s shortcut which you can see it here so now what if you want to come out of this transaction you can hit escape button the escape will not exactly take you out of that entire transaction which is the event but escape will take you or reset this particular transaction in most of the cases for example if i hit yes here see it had see it did not take me out of the transaction code but rather it had reset all the data that has been entered in this transaction code so escape kind of resets the transaction but if you want to completely come out of the transaction code then you need to hit the shortcut shift f3 which is exit so now you can navigate between, between these two buttons also by using your tab so if i hit the tab it will navigate or it will shift between these two buttons then hit enter on the respective button so this will take us out of the transaction code so we are back to the sap easy access menu now what if we want to understand more about a particular transaction that is displayed here so hit the f1 button and this will take us to the help screen be it within sap or be it from the browser so f1 is used for the help here you can see a help window had been opened now if i want to close this i'll select alt f4 which will close a particular window now the most common action that we always perform is to open a new session so we can do it by pressing control n so if you press control n it will open a new window so this is a new window that has been opened or a new session that is opened by hitting control n now if i want to close this again i can use alt f4 this will help me to close the new session and go back to the previous opened session now what if i want to enter a transaction code my selected entry is somewhere here but i want to navigate here by using keyboard so use the combination control tab so this control tab will bring you to this transaction code entering field so now here i will enter a transaction code fb50 now i am in the transaction code fb50 let us post the document by using only shortcuts so i am using the navigation key buttons up arrows and down arrows to navigate and shift tab or tab to move across horizontal fields so enter the cost center 
H for debit and use space to access the recently items. Control S to save it. And if I want to display this document, press Control F2. So Control F2 will work in the transaction codes FB50, 60, 65, 70 and 75. So now the document has been displayed. I want to go to the main menu here. So slash N. I have used Control Tab to navigate to the navigation bar and then used slash N to go back to the home screen. Now what if I want to find out a particular transaction code from this huge list? So Control F is the shortcut for find. You type any transaction code, for example, FP50, and it will take us to that particular result. So the result has been displayed. What if I want to print out this one? The shortcut is Control P. Control P has a different behavior and different transaction codes. For example, here Control P is first giving us a print preview, and if I use Control P once again, it will ask us to print it. Sometimes Control P will directly print it by using the pop-up. So F3 to go back. Now let us go to the transaction FS00. So what if I want to navigate across this? So I use the arrow marks. And what if I want to display a particular GL account by using our keyboard shortcut? So enter does not work here. Enter is not allowing us to show anything on the right side pane. So the shortcut which works universally across entire SAP to double click on any particular line is F2. F2 works as a double click. Hit F2 and it will show you the details on the right side pane. So again F3 will go back. Now I am in the transaction code OBC4 which is a list layout of the field status groups. So whenever you have a transaction code that displays anything in the form of SAP ALV list then most of your Excel shortcuts will work here. For example, if I want to select a particular row which I am highlighted then shift space will work here to select that particular row. So I can use shift space and that will select. Again if you want to deselect you can use shift space. But again from an SAP point of view you can also use other shortcuts like F8 to do that selection and again F8 to deselect that particular row. So F8 shortcut might change between different transactions but shift space remains constant for all the ALV layout outputs. Now what if I want to navigate between different pages so I can scroll down by using down arrow or the up arrow and what if I reach end of the page then I can use page down to go to the next page. But what if I want to not navigate a page by page but I want to navigate row by row then I can use shift up and shift down which will scroll only one row at a time. So if I want to go to the topmost of the entire list then control page up and top and bottom most is control page down. Control home and control end will also work the same functionality. Now if I want to select all the rows which are displayed here then F7 is the shortcut. F7 will select all the rows. So if you want to deselect, you can see deselect all is a shift F4. If you want to select only one particular entry, as I had mentioned, it is F8. Now I am in the transaction code VF03. This is the item details of a billing document. Whenever you have a screen layout, which is having tabs like this one in the tab strip, then control page down and control page up will work to navigate across these tabs. Now I am in the transaction code OKB9 and if I want to select a particular entry by clicking on position then the shortcut for that is Shift F7. So Shift F7 works in most of the transactions where there is a position button but some transactions does not support this keyboard shortcut. So I can enter the company code and I can enter some number here what I can see on my screen and it will take us to that particular row. And one point to remember in some screens if you want to select an entire list whatever is displayed on the screen then F7 might not be always the shortcut although here it is F7 but sometimes even F6 can also be there. So one thumb rule please do for the first time hover on these shortcuts and find out what is the keyboard shortcut for this one so that you can get used to that in a particular transaction code and boost your productivity. And many of the times if I want to enter a new entries then F5 is the shortcut to new entries. Now I am in the transaction code SE16N and there are certain shortcuts that we can see here. For example, if I enter the table, what if I want to execute it? The most commonly known shortcut to this one is F8. F8 is execute, the shortcut for execute. A few more shortcuts here. What if you want to execute this in the background Then the shortcut for that is F9. If I press F9 in most of the transaction codes, then it will show a pop up to execute this in the background. In SE16N especially, if I want to find out what is the shortcut for this number of entries then F7 is the shortcut for number of entries. Now few more useful shortcuts here are to copy paste data from Excel or any other place into this options pop-up. Here what if I want to paste something 
then shift F12 is the shortcut. For example, let me uh, copy paste some values from here. I'm randomly copying these values. Now I want to paste all whatever I have copied. The shortcut is shift F12. Shift F12 will paste whatever entries that are present on your clipboard. That means whatever you have copied recently into this layout. This can be any number of entries. It will automatically paste all these entries. Now, if I want to delete whatever entries I have entered, then control F10 will delete all the entries, whatever are present on this selection layout. Now, again, going back to OKB9. OK now, what if I want to select a particular entry and delete it? So shift space, as we already saw, is a shortcut to select an highlighted entry. Then shift F2 will delete that particular entry. One more shortcut to copy the data, whichever is present on the screen is control Y. Control Y will allow you to copy the data across columns and across fields. That is not something that goes by a field by field. That is something that can copy the text wherever it is present on the screen. So select control Y and then select whatever data you want and hit control C to copy the data and control V to paste the data. So these are some really important keyboard shortcuts in SAP that can help us navigate quicker and boost our productivity. Hope you have liked the video. Do not forget to like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done and see you in the next video. Until then, take care.